What can you tell me? Everybody we've talked to seems to be shocked, surprised that this went down when it did. Yeah, because it's really not in the nature of Jeff Lurie to make this bold of a decision. I mean, one, he does care about winning. He cares about the fans, but he's usually very lenient as far as being able to support the people that are there. And I think everybody took the idea, knowing how Jeff is, that he would give Chip one more year. But I think that the one thing that would be the caveat in that would be the discussion that probably ended up happening today is, OK, who's going to pick the players? Because Lurie clearly had to go to Chip Kelly and say, this did not work. I gave you the ability to pick the players players and the team's looking worse. It's worse at wide receiver. It's worse on the offensive line. It's not as good on defense. And so all those moves that you're made, particularly at the running back position, did not go. So what probably ended up happening is they were going back and forth over who was going to pick the players, be the general manager, whatever you want to call it. Because I know Chip doesn't call himself a GM, but he was the GM and he was the one who helped pick the players. And so that probably led to a discussion that now has him available. And I would not be surprised if he does get another NFL job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a second. Did you just say you wouldn't be surprised if he got another NFL job? After this particular year, the way it blew up, the relationships with players, shipping guys out, who would give him another chance? Well, because here's where the issue is. Name me the candidates that are really going to top him. And I agree with everything that you're saying. There's no doubt that, I mean, he got a bad reputation of dealing with players, and certainly he dealt too many players. That's one of the things that he did, and that was not good. But when you start to look at most of the top coordinator candidates for the NFL jobs are guys with losing records. And so when you start to put the list together, and that's why, for example, you know, you hear the names like Chuck Pagano being possibly hot, Doug Marone, who had his own troubles in Tampa Bay, that could be hot candidates because now, you know, the lack of candidates may put Chip back in the National Football League.